you might notice that when you make a measurement of something, you tend to get slightly different values uh, when you measure. And there are many reasons for this, uh, but our focus right now is on error and how to measure it relative to what you're trying to measure. For example, let's just say for a second that you're trying to measure how many inches are on your street. You know, how long is your street? Let's say you get um, 1 million inches and 20. So 1 million 20 inches. But let's say the actual uh, measurement, what it really is, is equal to 1 million inches. Exactly. Now you were off by 20 inches, right? But, I mean, if we have a million inches to account for, it's a really, really accurate measurement if you were only off by 20 inches. <clears throat> so, yes, these are different by 20 inches, but does it really matter? Well, it can, but what we should point out is that if you're measuring something smaller, let's say the length of your foot. If you measured <coughs> your foot and you got 30 inches, but the actual measurement of your foot equals 10 inches, this is going to cause a huge problem, for example, in a shoe store. Again, this is 20 inches apart only, but for something so small, that many inches can really make a difference. So we try to make a measurement of this and, and find out what's going on. Now, absolute error is the first step, and you could write, you could abbreviate it, a little e is absolute error. And the word absolute, just like absolute value, we're dealing with absolute value. So what we're really doing here is we're subtracting. And what we're trying to find is the difference between what you observed, O, it's observed, or measured, so what you found minus the actual or the correct result. So for example, let's find the absolute error. If you measured a piece of paper to be 10.5 inches in its height, but the actual measurement is 11 inches, what's your absolute error? Well. An absolute error then would be 10.5 minus 11, which is negative 0.5. We take the absolute value of that, so your absolute error is 0.5 of an inch. But like we said, it really matters um, what your error is in comparison to the size of what you're working on. Like if we're working on this huge distance, a small absolute error of 20 inches is not a big deal. But what if you're working on something really small? If your absolute error is 20 inches, because these are both absolute errors, and that's a big deal. Two situations, and you want to figure out which one had more of an impact, which mistake had more of an impact. You can measure what we call relative error. Relative error tells you how bad the mistake was in comparison to the values you were dealing with. How do we find it? It's a ratio of the absolute error over the accepted value. So absolute error over accepted value, and I, I can abbreviate this down here. I just I'm trying to avoid using a twice. But anyway, this is absolute error over accepted value, so AV. And we have our absolute errors in both cases. They're both 20 inches off, which we found by subtracting again what you found versus the actual measure. And here's what we found versus the actual measure. So let's find the relative error of both situations. Let's call this situation one with the measure of the street and this situation two with the measure of your foot. So the relative error of situation one, that's how I'm going to write it, equals, well, we had an absolute error of 20 inches, but the accepted value for the length of your street was a million inches. So in fact, this is a 0 .00002 error, right? 20 divided by a million. And if you want to write this as a percent, you could do the relative error 
this times 100, or as a percent, and you would get a 0.002% error. Very small error. However, in situation two, the relative error, well, for absolute error, we were off by 20 inches, but our foot was only 10 inches long. So in fact, this was a relative error of two. Two is a much higher error than this. So in fact, it has a much higher, we say, magnitude. It's a much greater impact. And the relative error as the percent of the situation is 2 times 100, or 200 percent error. So, as we said before, this error is much more significant. It has a higher magnitude. 